So today I'm talking about a U0109 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0109 code? Well, it's a loss communication with fuel pump control module. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a fuel pump that's supplying fuel up to the engine, and this needs to be sending out the correct pressure up to the engine so that the fuel injectors can eject fuel into the cylinders. And to get the right fuel pressure, older vehicles used to use what's called a fuel pressure regulator, which was a simple mechanical device that would control the fuel pressure up at the fuel rail where the fuel injectors are located. But vehicles nowadays, they have many different sensors and different things like this going on. And they replace this fuel pressure regulator with what's called a fuel pump control module. And basically this fuel pump control module can control the voltage going to the fuel pump, which then controls the fuel pressure going up to the engine. And this control module gets all its different inputs from different sensors, along with the vehicle's main computer, the engine control module or the powertrain control module. And it basically just controls the voltage going to the fuel pump. And when the voltage is lower, the fuel pressure is lower. And when the voltage is higher, the fuel pressure is higher. But when you get a U0109 code, the vehicle's main computer, the ECM or the PCM, can't communicate with this fuel pump control module anymore. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting on why. And so what would be some possible causes of a U0109 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a blown fuse or a bad relay. If one of these goes bad, that's on that fuel pump control module circuit, then that's gonna cause issues. So if you can go and look and locate the fuse for that fuel pump control module, be sure that it's good. It's also a good idea just to check all the fuses related to the fuel pump. One thing to note that depending on the manufacturer, that fuel pump control module can also be called different things. For example, GM vehicles often call it a fuel system control module, but it's the same thing. But keep in mind, sometimes it can have a slightly different name depending on the vehicle and the manufacturer. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad fuse or a bad relay. The next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring issue going to the fuel pump control module. Basically, if there's any like open, short, there's a bad connection inside of there, something like this, that's going to cause problems. You can go and check out the wiring harness going to that control module, along with all the other wires that go around, back up around the engine, and to the other control modules and things like this. And just check to see if you see any physical damage. Sometimes small rodents and things like this get in there and chew on wires and cause problems and different things along these lines. You can also get schematics for your particular vehicle just to know which pins are doing what, which ones are ground, which ones are getting voltage, different things along these lines. And once you have that information, you can check it with the multimeter to see if there is any problem inside of the wiring. One thing to note about these control modules is that a lot of people, they'll jump around that harness and bypass them. So I don't recommend this, but a lot of people do it. There's a lot of YouTube videos on it and different things like this. But if you do have the right information, you know which pins are going where. It is possible to bypass that fuel pump control module and just send a constant 12 volts to that fuel pump so that the engine will run. Again, I don't recommend doing that, but a lot of people do it. If you do go to do this, be sure to do it correctly that you're jumping the correct wires because otherwise you can't cause more damage. And the last thing on the list is that there's going to be some kind of other issue going on with like the engine control module or the powertrain control module. If there's some kind of issue going on with the main computer, then it might not be the fuel pump control module. Well, the problem might be somewhere else. Of course, usually if you are having some kind of other computer issue, you're going to be getting other codes. You're going to be having other issues. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of other computer issue. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0109 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.